Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the wind pressure on the leeward side of our structure. So the pressure formula is the exact same formula we used for the windward side. The only difference is going to be this C um, uh, subscript P comma E. All right. Every other value is the exact same except this C P comma E. All right. So we're going to take a look at where we get this value from. It's from table 5.2 on page 32. So if we look at this, it says, and I'll zoom in, it says at the top here, walls um, external pressure coefficient CPE for rectangular enclosed buildings, looking at the leeward wall. Okay, so we looked at the windward wall in the previous video, which was the previous table. Now we're looking at the, uh, sorry, we looked at the windward, windward wall, which was the previous table. Now we're looking at the windward wall. So the first thing in this table is the wind direction. We've got roof shape, alpha, D on B, and then eventually we'll be able to find our CP from all these things. So the first thing is the wind direction theta degrees. So what we first do is, is it's nice to draw a little picture of what's going on. So here's our structure. We're now looking at the um, leeward side. So here's the windward side. The wind's coming to hit here. We're looking at this side over there. Now, in order to determine the theta, so that was the first thing in this column, we flip over a couple pages to this over here, 5.2 parameters for rectangle enclosed buildings. All right. So this, this is on page 30. Now I've drawn in my standard. I recommend you do this too. We need to understand what a gable and hip roof is. So a gable roof are like these roofs here where you have two um, slants or just one slant. So we classify those as gable roofs and a hip roof is when you have four um, different slants. Okay. So these are, are hip roofs. So we can write down that our roof is a gable roof based on the fact that it has one slant. The next thing we need to work out is theta, which is the angle.